Hi everyone, here's a very simple DC circuit. It has uh, a 12 volt battery and a 10 ohm resistor. So to calculate uh, current in this situation, we'd have to use Ohm's law. So Ohm's law, which states that voltage equals current represented by I multiplied by resistance, V equals IR. So in order to calculate uh, current, we can go I equals V over R. That's just using simple algebra. So in this circuit, I will equal the voltage, which is 12, divided by the resistance, which is 10, which will equal 1.2 amps. So that's the current for this circuit. To calculate the power of this circuit, we can use the formula P equals I times V, the current times the voltage. I is 1.2 multiplied by the voltage of 12 volts, which will equal 14.4 watts. So that's the power. Now imagine that we have a circuit with three resistors in series. Now all that means is that the resistors are connected end to end. So in order to calculate the total resistance or the equivalent resistance, we can just add those resistances together. So we'll call that RT, R total, will equal R1 plus R2 plus R3 will equal 2 plus 10 plus 3 equals 15 ohms. So the total resistance for this circuit is 15 ohms. In order to calculate the total current for this circuit, we can just use Ohm's law. So I will equal V over R. So the voltage is 12. The total resistance is 15. So the total current will equal 0 0.8 amps. For resistors in series, the current across each resistor remains the same. So each of these three resistors will have a 0 0.8 amp current. However, there is a voltage drop across each resistor, and we can calculate that just by using Ohm's law. So the voltage drop across the first resistor, let's call that V1, will just equal I. V1 equals I times R, which equals 0 0.8 times 2, which equals 1.6 volts. So the voltage drop across resistor 1 is 1.6 volts. For resistor 2, V2 will equal I times R, which is 0 0.8 times 10, which equals 8 volts. For resistor 3, V3 will equal I times R, 0 0.8 times 3, which will equal 2.4 volts. Now if we add up all of those voltage drops, so 1.6 plus 2.4, plus 8.0, we'll get 12 volts, which is exactly what we expect because our voltage for our circuit is 12 volts. To calculate the total power for the circuit, we use the formula P equals I times V, which will equal 0 0.8, that was our current for our circuit, multiplied by 12 volts, which will equal 9.6 watts. Each resistor will also have a power dissipation or a power usage. So for the first uh, resistor, P1 will equal I times V. So that'll be 0 0.8 times the voltage drop of the first resistor, which equals 1.6. So that will equal 1.28 watts. Uh, for the second resistor, P2 will equal 0 0.8 times the voltage drop times 8 which will equal 6.4 watts. And for P3, so for resistor 3, P3 will equal 0 0.8 times the voltage drop of 2.4, which will equal 1.92 watts. So adding all of those up, 6.4 plus 1.28 plus 1.92, we should get 9.6 watts. In this circuit, we have two resistors in parallel. That is, they're not in series, they're not end-to-end. -end. The relationship between total resistance and the resistors in parallel equals this. 1 over R total 
equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So if we fill in the details, 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30 equals 1 over our total resistance. Uh, just using some uh, fractional maths here, we'll multiply that first one by 3. 3 over 60 plus 2 over 60. Now we can add those fractions together. So that'll equal 5 over 60. So 1 over RT will equal 5 over 60. So finding the inverse, RT will equal 60 over 5, which equals 12 ohms. The current for the circuit, I equals V over R, V equals 12, R equals 12, so the current equals 1 amp. So we'll put, it up, put that up here, 1 amp. While we're here, let's calculate the power of the circuit. So P equals I times V, 1 times 12 equals 12 watts. For resistors in parallel, the voltage drop across each resistor is the same. So for both R1 and R2, the voltage drop is 12 volts. However, the currents are not the same. So for the first resistor, we'll call the current I1, will equal V over R1, so just Ohm's law. The voltage is 12, divided by the resistance of the first resistor, 20, which will equal 0 0.6 amps. For I2, we do a similar thing, V over R2, which will equal 12 divided by 30, which equals 0 0.4 amps. So as you can see here, it's easier for the electricity to pass through the 20 ohm resistor, that is it has a higher current, than for the 30 ohm resistor, which makes sense. There's less resistance, so more current goes through the first resistor. For the power dissipation for each resistor, P1 will equal I times V, which will equal 0.6 times 12, which equals 7.2 watts. For resistor 2, the power will equal I times V, so 0.4 times 12, which will equal 4.8 watts. 7.2 plus 4.8 equals 12 watts. For our final circuit, we have resistors in both series and parallel, so we should calculate the resistance for the parallel resistors first. So we'll call that R23, so resistor 2 and resistor 3 are in parallel. So 1 over R23 equals 1 over resistor 2 plus 1 over resistance 3. So that'll equal 1 over 30 plus 1 over 30 which is 2 over 30. So 1 over R23 will equal 2 over 30, which means that R23, finding the inverse, will equal 30 over 2, which will equal 15 ohms. So effectively, we could replace R2 and R3 with a single 15 ohm resistor, and that would have the same effect on the circuit. So the calcula to calculate the total resistance, RT, we essentially have a 10 ohm resistor in series with a 15 ohm resistor. So RT will equal R1 plus R23, which will equal 10 plus 15, which equals 25 ohms. We can now calculate the total current for the circuit, I equals V over R, the voltage is 12, the resistance is 25, so the current will equal 0 0.48 amps. The power for the circuit, P will equal IV, I equals 0.48 times 12 volts, which equals 5.76 watts. Now for the voltage drops, the voltage drop across the first resistor, V1, it will equal I times R1, which will equal 0.48 times 10, which equals 4.8 volts. Now for the voltage drop across the two parallel resistors, remembering they'll have the same voltage drop being in parallel, so V23 will equal IR23, I equals 0.48 
times uh, 15, which will equal 7.2 volts. So 7.2 volts plus 4.8 volts equals our total of 12 volts. Now for the current, so I1 will just equal the current of the circuit, 0.48 amps. Uh, you can calculate it if you like, V1 divided by R1, so 4.8 divided by 10 equals 0.48. I2 will equal V23 divided by R2. So that will equal 7.2 over 30, which equals 0.24 amps. And as it turns out, I3 is going to be the same because R2 and R3 are the same, have the same resistance. So I3 will equal 0.24 amps. Now for the power dissipation for each of the resistors, P1 will equal I1V1, which will equal uh, 0.48 multiplied by 4.8, which equals 2.304 watts. Similarly, P2 will equal I2 times V2, or 0.24 times 7.2, which equals 1.728 watts. And P3 will be identical, so P3 will equal 1.728 watts as well. If you add up with those three numbers, so 2.304 plus 1.728 plus 1.728, you should get 5.76 watts. Anyway, that's the basics of circuit analysis with resistors in parallel and series. I know it got a bit complicated in the end, but if you have any questions for me, leave them for me in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Cheers!